Alright, I'm here. This way, Harry. Also, I don't think there was really any reason for me to collect that. Just to make my report card look cooler Harry and get Potter. those Gryffindor points. Harry Potter? Look at that. So, I mean, yeah, besides the duel, report card's looking pretty slick. Harry Potter! Just wanted to hear his beautiful voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was a good camera. Okay, I did technically walk through this before because we had to come from Snape's place. I have a special death day speech prepared. This way, Harry. You're gonna be late for herbology, Harry. Look at him go. I really do think that this will be a death day to remember. This way, Harry. This way, Harry. Man, like, I looked around this place before. I don't think I need to look around anymore. Oh my god, the dungeon looks so magical. It's oh! Harry Potter. He can't get across. Oh, what a baby. He's all at a loss. I gotta be like this. What, like, why is this guy just, like, skulking over here? Get him out of here. Did Dobby, like, do this to every night? Oh, all the ghosts are chilling here. This way to the 500th death day party of Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. Huh. What a name. Can't go that way. Potion class. I guess we have to go to potions class. Are we going to actually get anything important from potion class? The slug pit. Is this where all of Ron's slugs went? Oh, no. Look at the slime floor. It pushed me back. Very exciting slug combat. Incendio! Potion class is unlocked. Is that what that was? Or is that just the door that was over here? Slip and slide. See, so when making... The dungeon is a nasty place, but you're fitting with that ugly face. <laughs> Can't find your pals, Potty. Don't cry. <laughs> like how he, like, came up to me to talk a second time. Oh, what was I? I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say, um, I like to imagine that when developing this game, the, uh, a person just said, listen, everyone loved the slip and slide floor. Oh, God, I really need to wait for the damage to go away there. Everyone loved the slip and slide floor in Philosopher's Stone. We need to bring it back, but like a lot more aggressive. We need more floors to slip and slide. It's weird to me that these snails die quicker than, than the slugs do. You would think like the shell would protect them. I don't really know which way's progress. Can't find your pals, Potty. Don't cry. <laughs> Poor old Potty can't find his way to the party. <laughs> Poor old Potty <laughs> can't. <laughs> wow! He's having a grand old time. He's just mad because he wasn't invited, and I guess I need to go to the lever room to pull the lever. I'm glad I didn't try to head backwards. I was about to. But I've learned my lesson. Oh, okay, that lets me get to the party. I, I get it now. Oh, beans! Would you be excited if you were just, like, chilling in your room and beans fell from the sky? Realistically, I think that would be a pain because they would probably, like, pelt you in the face. And also, would be a pain to try to clean up. I 
I also would not be excited if they were actually the Harry Potter beans. That wall kind of looked a little weird. Lever room. Hmm. Well, I guess I need it. both levers. We did it. We solved the puzzle. Beans! I don't know why I was excited. Like, I shouldn't have expected more beans to drop. Assume like immediately after the party, we're gonna go to potions class. It seems like it's such a far distance. Beans! I'm gonna save that potion for later. Doesn't seem like it's worth it right now. Oh, that's the party room. What a party. Blimey, Harry. Where have you been? We've been waiting ages for you. Let's go, Harry. I like how I had to go walk up to both of them. We're going to have a dance mini game. Oh, you know, this is a nice little party. Bunch of ghosts. I feel like I'm right in the Haunted Mansion. It's like Ron reading a book. What's he doing? I, I like that they're just pictures. Oh, was that a present he brought? So glad you can make it, Harry. May I recommend the moldy bread and the stinking salmon? Watch out for Peeves, Harry. He's in one of his mischievous moods. Is he ever not? Feel free to mingle, Harry. Ron and Hermione are around here somewhere. What? Happy death day, Nick. I think Ron has a present for you. I'll go and tell him to bring it over. Yeah, I need to mingle, though. Let me mingle. Look at, look at those pictures. Oh! He wouldn't. What is that, a pumpkin? Ah! Oh! Peeves, dive down behind the table, Harry. Use your knockback jinx to get the prison back. Why don't you do it? Oh. Look at that face! Peeves, you're really peeving me off. Oh, the bread! I wish I could shoot quicker. Here's an idea. Go behind the table yourself, and then Peeves can't do this. I like that I can um, shoot him before he's able to throw stuff. Also, I think I chose like the perfect height to do anything. <laughs> Where'd your thing go, Peeves? Ah! Dead. Shoot him some more. That'll show him. Please give Ron back his present. Dude, like, like he spun away. What was the present? Let me dare you. <laughs> I like how the models freeze framed blinked and then it decided to shift to the the picture book.
And also the way they ran. The voice was growing fainter, and Harry was sure it was moving away, moving upwards. He began to run. They ran like Hermione and Ron heard the voice. Something was shining on the wall ahead. Harry approached slowly, squinting through the darkness. Mrs. Norris, Filch's cat, was hanging by her tail from a torch bracket. She was as stiff as a board, her eyes wide and staring. Foot-high words had been daubed on the wall above the petrified cat. Harry shuddered as he read them. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. You're in for a scare. Before Harry could leave, several people appeared in the corridor. When Filch saw Mrs. Norris, he screeched accusingly at Harry. You! You've murdered my cat! You've killed her! <laughs> and then Draco Malfoy shouted out to everyone gathered. Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods! Professor Dumbledore calmed everyone down and sent them all to bed. Ron reckoned that he had an idea who the heir of Slytherin was, and both he and Harry went to meet Hermione in the library. I like how they zoom in to the picture book like they're going to transition to that exact image when it's going to not look like that. In the slightest. And also it's going to take five years to load. I'm sure that Draco Malfoy is the heir of Slytherin. Gasp! I think he might be right. And if he is, I know a way we can prove it. Polyjuice potion. Are we gonna get to see Poly what? Hermione Polyjuice TF into a cat? Can transform a person into someone else, even a Slytherin. We could trick Malfoy into admitting he's the heir. To make the Polyjuice potion, we'll need several ingredients. Lacewing flies, leeches, fluxweed, knocked grass, horn of bicorn, and shredded boom slang. That's a lot of things. Okay, I'll get the knockgrass and fluxweed. Harry, you can get the leeches, lacewing flies, and shredded boomslang. Oh, you get to and get two I'll things. Get the horn of you two had better get to potions class. When I find a place to prepare the polyjuice potion, I'll send Hedwig. We, we could split it two to two to two. Why do I get three things? Hermione can get one of the other things. Why, why you gotta do this to me? Why they gotta be like this? Also, I guess we're going to potions class now. Maybe we can just get Snape to make it for us. Silence! Mixing potions is a very precise science. No one was talking, Snape. I suggest Snape. that Potter, Weasley, and Longbottom listen carefully to my every word. This year, like last year, I won't allow any disobedience. Pay attention, Potter. You are going to remind us how to mix a Wiganweld potion. If you remember, you must first activate the cauldron. Oh, it's the same thing. With this done, you must I start pressing the button. three one. symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. Puppeteer music, let's go. Ah! I got a little too into a different rhythm. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better. Didn't you say the exact same now thing remember, last time? When the cauldron is full, you can activate it to gain the Wiganweld potion. Class dismissed. So we didn't learn anything new. It was just a recap class. Great. Thanks, Snape. Very cool, Snape. Can't anyone tell me how to make the platforms appear? I just want to Hello see there. the platforms. I wonder if you oh, he's here! Do me a favor. Of course, Hagrid. It's nearly Halloween, and my pumpkin patch has been overrun with gnomes. gnomes. Can you help me to get rid of them? I'll help, Hagrid. But I think Ron has some things he needs to do. I do. Like getting some knocked grass and flux weed. Oh yeah. Just make sure that you don't forget the boomslang skin. Uh, Lace wings and leeches. Leeches? Oh, nasty creatures. But if you're after some boom slang skin, I've got some in my hut. Need this stuff for homework, do you? Uh, yes. That's right. Homework! For potions! All right then, Harry. I'll make a deal with you. Get rid of them gnomes in my pumpkin patch, and I'll give you some boom slang skin. Okay, Hagrid. It's a deal. 
I like how Harry got real flippant with Ron, as if, like, Harry was already working towards making the, uh, transformation potion, when Harry hasn't actually done anything yet. Where he's like, Ron, you need to get going, Ron, and then I just lucked Let's into... Let's see if you can get these blasted gnomes out of my pumpkin It's snowing patch. now. Do well enough, and I'll give you some boom slang skin. To fling the gnomes, press the square button, which will help you build up speed. Yeah, I'm the gonna be here for a bit. The faster you press, the more speed you gain. When you reach the fence, press the triangle button when you're ready to chuck the little pest out of my What is that in the back? Try and throw the gnomes as far as you can, Harry. You'll get points for distance and extra points for every target you hit. Okay, I especially want to do this too, because I'm sure I'll get another card for it. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad, like, this is probably the happiest I've ever been to see a minigame reappear. <laughs> Went way too over those birds. <laughs> yeah, nice! 69. Alright, I'm gonna have to get used to doing this again. Mash it out, Hagrid! Watch me do it! Well, at least I'll hit that thing. Excellent throw, Harry. <laughs> Still don't really know what it is, but I hit it. It blew up. Got some bonus points. So I need to hit like a barrel, the scarecrow, and. Excellent throw. Cat! That was a big cat. And the, uh, the birdhouse, or not birdhouse, whatever it is, perch, I guess. Definitely can't do it right now. I'm gonna try to go for that scarecrow. Missed it, just by hair. <laughs> you over that distance. Done. You got yourself a new high score. Well done. It's not good Harry. enough though. Have some boom slang skin. You've earned it. It's not good enough though. Ah. Wasn't that fun, Harry? Do you want to play again? It was fun. I do want to play again. again. So that should be a good enough score now. I just... And I have some extras. Bonus! So I'm gonna just try to blitz it as far as I can. Let's go over a thousand. Uh, it's gonna hit the cat, isn't it? It's, uh, if I didn't hit anything, it would have gone much farther. 
And I need to try to hit more so towards the back end. It doesn't matter. Fantastic. That should be good. That's your all time highest score. Well done. Edgar Struger. All that matters is I hit all the things. The birds were annoying because the tree got in the way. You wanna play again? I'm good. I like the game. The uh, the birds were annoying because the tree's hitbox got in the way of it, so it was kind of hard for me to get a feel for what the uh, sweet spot was, and it was basically a little bit to the left. But thankfully, the birds were gettable at that point. Gnome throwing is like Thanks the best thing ever. The pumpkins, Harry. I hope you find a good use for that boom slang skin. Bearded stoats, look at the time. You better run off to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Slytherin's about to start. Okay. You say so? There you are! Come on, you'll be late for Quidditch! Did you manage to get the Fluxweed and Knotgrass? I got some Fluxweed, but it wasn't easy. Come on, we better get to the Quidditch pitch before it's too late! It's cute that it's, like, snowing. The, um... Oh, okay, if you say so. The back of the box mentioned something about seasons, and obviously... It can't go this way. Obviously, that's a little bit, um... Not real. It's like, probably just by the end of this chapter, it's gonna not be snowing anymore. I'm also dying. I've been dying for a while, I guess. Peeves really screwed me up with those moldy breads. Hopefully that doesn't transfer over to the Quidditch match. Am I gonna get chased by a bludgeon? And as we join this important Quidditch game between Slytherin and Gryffindor, this is an important is one. Moment. Slytherin are leading 60 points to nothing on the fastest racing brooms goal can buy. It's down to you, Harry. Catching the snitch is the only way we're going to win. You've got to beat Malfoy. I can't shake this bludger. What's going on? Yeah, what is All going right on? There, Scarhead. Someone's tampered with this. Bludger. There's the golden snitch! Malfoy's on it, and Potter's chasing! There they go after the snitch! It's heading for the stands! Amazing! I've lost sight of them! <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do the Draco fight again. Ah! I am still dying. gonna like keep mashing square as I move on. Oh, there was a frog! I could have frogged! <laughs> well. <laughs> he's laughing. I'm dying and he's laughing. I'll never catch up. Whoa! Whoa! Get him! <laughs> Mess him up! You ruined my broom! <laughs> He's still laughing! Oh, I need to collect the rings now. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh jeez. The frog, please. Ugh. I need to be a little bit careful because I'm dying, but. More rings. Probably should uh, slow down to actually collect some rings. Probably would help a little bit. Thankfully, hitting walls didn't seem to hurt me too much. Okay, goodbye, ring. Fog! Every time he's too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, hit that wall. Yeah. Yeah. Get stuck on a wall. Probably would be best if I do die. I'm doing it! Ugh! Ugh! It doesn't even look like he's trying when, like, his hand fails. Yo, can we get to see the deboning scene? Look out, Harry! 
Oh, it just hit him in the back. I want to see the deboning scene. Show me the deboned arm. I want to see it fling around. Harry's He's dead! Hanging at a very strange angle, but in his good hand, he held the snitch. Aha! We've won! Aha! Lockhart told Harry to lie back as he tried to mend his arm with a charm. A strange and unpleasant sensation started at his shoulder and spread all the way down to his fingertips. His arm didn't hurt anymore, nor did it feel remotely like an arm. Ah! Yes. Uh, well, that can sometimes happen. Uh, so, Harry, just toddle up to the hospital wing. Madam Pomfrey will be able to, um, tidy you up a bit. The next moment, Dumbledore what and is that scene? Oh, is he's petrified, room, right? Carrying what looked like a statue. Together, they heaved it onto a bed. I, I thought he was just that the chamber freaking of out. is indeed open again. Was that Dumbledore? Oh, what are you doing? Harry, that it was about time he collected together the ingredients for the polyjuice potion. As soon as your arm is better, I think you should go to Diagon Alley. Oh, God. It was half term by the time Harry's arm was better, and following Hermione's advice, he caught the train to London. I really don't like that image. Harry oh, he's here with me, my boy. Alley. Just uh, don't make me go get the balloons, please. I don't want to go get the balloons, please. I swear, please don't. Don't make me. I, I'm having fun. Like I'm actually having fun with this game right now. Don't make me get the balloons. I swear to Christ. It's right. Oh, that's the bank. It's right there. I don't. Look, there's a sign. Maybe the sign says it's closed. I wonder if Go anything will let me come back supplies, here. Harry. I'm going to the pub to meet some old friends. I'll meet you back here in a while. Hate to see him go, love to watch him walk away. Let me leave. Gone on holiday. Back next year. Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir, we are still closed. Sorry. I'm still dying. Gone bird watching in Wales. Whoa! Owl out of nowhere. Harry, I found the perfect place to make the polyjuice potion. Moaning Myrtle's bathroom in the upper castle. Come as soon as you have all the ingredients. Yours, Hermione. Okay, I think I think you might have missed like a sentence there. We are there, closed but... due to daylight robbery. Back at seven o'clock. We apologize to our customers for the temporary closure. We are still tidying up after Gilderoy Lockhart's last visit. Because that was the uh, bookstore. Look at the signs, that would help. Wandered out for a spell. We'll return later. Ha! Get it! Nice oh. earmuffs, Potter. Yeah, Did they're your good earmuffs. For you? Oh, I am sorry. I forgot. Malfoy, you're almost as funny as Filch. Now get out of my way. All right, Four Eyes. Oh, by the way, I've left a nice prize for you in this shop. Enjoy. What? Like what? What does? What does that mean? Also, how did did you know I was coming here? Wait, what, what exactly happened? Did he spy Harry coming and was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go take a nice deuce in the shop, and then they won't be able to Today buy is a things." Goblin bank holiday. Therefore, we are closed. I'm so excited about that sign. Hello. Oh, look at that face. The young man you are. You're the same person, but a little scummier. Don't milk it, boy. My reservoir of compliments has run dry. Now go away. Don't milk it. I, I sure do love the like sucking in your spit sounds. What, what could he have possibly left? Also, I don't remember which one he was in. So, we're just gonna go into the places we can go. We need, like, we need two things anyways, so... Probably just need to go to both of these.
Where's Welcome the jump rope rats? You're not the same person that it worked here last time. It doesn't look very Christmassy in here, does it? Is this better? Whoa, it is! Can I have some That's lace fun. wing flies, please? I do indeed have some lace wing flies in stock, but they move too quickly for me to catch. I... They're hiding in one of these boxes. Oh, just this if again? If you can catch five for me, I'll let you keep them. You need to collect all the flies within the time limit. Why time limit? Answer my question. I guess I just wandered somewhere else. I, I do like the uh, switching it to Christmas themed. I think it like it looks like they actively do wander, like you can follow them, which is nice. I don't think the frog did that. Yeah, I, I like that you can... ...see which way they were cutting. Well done, you've collected all the flies. I certainly won't be missing them. Now, buzz off. Rude. But I do appreciate the Christmas. Mess up his shop! He'll hate it! Okay, well... I don't think that was where Malfoy left his surprise. This is the strangest thing happened. Malfoy just... He, like, spilt a cup of water on the floor and said, That'll show that nasty Potter, and then ran off. I don't... I don't really get why he would do that. I mean, I guess just watch out, Harry. There's a little spot over there with a the wet floor sign. Don't... Don't step over there. You might slip. It's so bizarre. Don't know what he was thinking. I like the idea of a bully doing like the most minor of inconvenience. Please help me. Somebody's released a gang of pixies in my shop and they're wrecking the place. I'll give they you might kill me. you need if you can stop them before they destroy my shop. Oh. I assumed we were gonna do the uh Petrify spell thing. I need to do what I did last time. It's basically the pumpkin game. But like lower projectile makes it easier for me to shift my direction. Ooh, you kind of like went in a different... Hitbox is also pretty forgiving. Oh god! Wasn't expecting that. Way too soon. Thank you so much. How can I repay you? Have you got any leeches? There you are. And thanks again for your help. Like, Mal Malfoy legit just came here to ruin a shop just because Harry needed to buy something here. He's a goddamn menace. Also, I feel like when the Chamber of Secrets came out, they really tried to market those pixies. I don't know, does anyone really care that much about them? There he is, standing there menacingly. Oh ho, you're approaching me. Well, we didn't have to go to the bank, so I'm happy. Getting back to Hogwarts. 